And welcome once again to In Retrospection, the show where we review the retro today. I am Joshua Caleb, joined as usual by Graham Ellis. Hello, guys. And our occasionally returning guest, Zach Williamson. Dun, 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 dun. Yes, he, he, he's our dramatic guest star that comes on when you least expect him. Dun, dun, dun. Though I actually this. Red shirt on. <laughs> hey, now wait a second. Wait a second. What's all this about red shirts? Oh, you, you the the uniform I gave you. It's the it's the new color for all the guests. Oh, great. That's the, I feel real special now. <laughs> well, if you haven't guessed already from the video, we are playing Sonic the Hedgehog. The original Sega Genesis, and this is a totally awesome game. So, there this review. Main Sega. <laughs> yeah, review over. See you next week. Yep, <laughs> Wait, we were going to review in a game. I thought we were just. It was understood. Yeah. The. If it was not for Sonic being so awesome, um, Sega would have sunk a long time ago. Which they well, I th sunk. I, personally, I think the reason they did sink was that they couldn't really get another good Sonic game out. Yeah, <laughs> they, they couldn't. They couldn't keep their success rolling, so to speak. The only thing they're doing now is putting out the same Sonic game, just on newer platforms like, uh, you know, the greatest hits. Yeah, they, they just keep re-releasing re the good stuff. Exactly. I think I own about six legal copies of Sonic 3 and Knuckles now, by either digital downloads or Xbox Live Arcade, a console, and all kinds of crap. Well, yeah, because, um, so the Sonic 1 has been, I think, released on pretty much every conceivable platform since the Sega Genesis. Yeah. They yeah. released it on the Sega Saturn. They re-released it on the GameCube, the PS2. I, I don't know if they did the Xbox, but Xbox 360, Xbox Live Arcade, um, PC... Uh, Game Boy Advance, um, iOS, um, Steam, PlayStation Network, PS3, um, PSP, am I missing any? Um, I don't think so. Yeah, it's crazy how many platform oh um ds nintendo ds i'm wondering if they had it on the ds or the advance yeah they had it on the game boy advance but that was supposed to be a pretty bad port well, it was still I, there yeah <laughs> but the the ds version i think was better so they say yeah This, yeah, this... they did put it out on the Xbox, by the way, and the PSP. Yeah. So, I think... And then uh, I have it on the Xbox 360 in the arcade. Yeah, so they got the Wii. Oh, great, right, that's right, the Wii for the virtual console. Yeah, they put it on the virtual console. 3DS. So, um, I don't think they've messed anything. Android. Outside of maybe the Atari 2600 here. <laughs> The Atari 2600 and Android, they haven't put it out on yet. Oh, uh, yeah, that's it, Android. Um, I think Sonic CD is out on Android now. Next year. Is it next year they're putting it out? Yes, next year is it'll, it'll be on Android. I know it's out on iOS now. I know it's out on Xbox Live Arcade now. Because I think I just finished downloading the demo for it. Well, it's entirely possible that uh, they will have all the platforms covered. 
Yes. They're all the they're platforms. Now, right? I mean, they're not in the business of making consoles anymore. They're in the business of making software. Why would you support just one unit or console? Ah. After all, they got you to buy it six times. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, that's great <Brit> money. <laughs> Look, man, there was a good deal. Look, there was a good deal on Amazon this week. I got 48 classic Genesis games for. Ten bucks. Oh, I saw that. I want to get that. Oh yeah, yeah that's a good sale. Steam often has those good sales that are just like, you know, like when they had um when they had Oblivion on sale for like seventy five percent off right after Skyrim came out. I bought it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I I'm I kind of regret that I didn't. I bought the uh, gold version or the uh, the one with all the DLC. Yeah, yeah. it cost me six dollars. <sighs> God, I should have done no. that. I said, you know, it's not my kind of game, but and I didn't have the money for Skyrim, so I said, hey, I'll play some Oblivion. It's got no dragons, but it's the same game. <laughs> yep. well, I don't know now. If it doesn't have dragons, I mean... Oh, step on. Yeah, then hey, there's a mod. Here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Tangent oh, oh, aside. <laughs> so, Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> yeah, that other addiction we have. Hey, I don't know about you guys, but I'm playing Ocarina of Time. I'm just screwing around in the background with Ocarina of Time. Ah, <laughs> uh, you missed that playthrough. Hey, I'm doing my own playthrough, thank you very much. <laughs> I'm about to go down a hole and find a cow. How many games can you say that? Not many. Ah. Wait, I, I'm, I'm moving too fast here. Okay. Yeah, but this game is so fast to go through. Yeah. That is the thing about that game, is it's... It moves it's quickly. When you get get him rolling through some of those levels, to give you the ones where you do the running spins and have to defy gravity. Yeah, it's not like Sonic 4, where you have to, like, work your way up. Yeah, the, this, this is when platformers, at least... Some platformers got fast. They weren't, you know, kind of trudge your way along, jump, all that boring stuff. This is when platformers meant something. It wasn't yeah. Oh, and then the, this also is a platformer that didn't have a run button. Oh yeah, you just kind of did. I know. Why? Why do you have a run button? Why can't I just run? I, I was into this way more than Mario. Unfortunately, when I first got into platformers, Mario was the only game I could afford. So I had to settle for that. I wouldn't call it settling so much as... You know. When this came out, I couldn't even afford it. <laughs> as a poor student. Uh-huh. I think... I don't know how long it took several years before I could afford a Sega Genesis and Sonic the Hedgehog. And then I played it like crazy. Though so actually, no, I, I just I played the second one like crazy. I played this one quite a bit too, but I think the second one was cheaper. <laughs> so... I played all of them. I played all of them a lot, but... Well, yeah, the one that, that's always given me the most addiction over the years has been Sonic 3 and Knuckles. See, at, at one point in time when I had a Sega Gen, when I finally did have a Sega Genesis, I owned every Sonic game you could get for that. From yeah. Sonic the Hedgehog I, 1 to Mean Bean Machine to Sonic Spinball. I had everything but Mean Bean Machine and Spinball, and now I have Spinball and Mean Bean Machine as a digital download. Thank you very much. Um... Yeah, but, but I nothing... actually have a physical card of Spinball. Although I still haven't gotten that to work yet. Huh. Are you still running your Genesis? Um, I, I don't have a Genesis. I've got one of those combo units, one of those newly manufactured. Uh, mine plays NES, Super NES, and Genesis all in one unit. Oh, I've seen those, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty nice. i got to say, it's, it's pretty cool to be able to switch from Metroid to Super Metroid instantly. Yeah, and then to Sonic the Hedgehog. Too. And then to Sonic the Hedgehog if I really want to. You know, just to mix it up a little bit. Go from Hot Chick to Blue Rodent. 
me if I'm feeling that if I'm feeling frisky that day. Yeah, we. Uh, what was that game that we played there? That was sort of the all prototype Sonic. Ristar. Ristar. Oh, dang it. Yeah, I don't. Know, I didn't. Did you did you know that Zach that Sonic um, began life as a rabbit? I did not know. He was originally conceived as a rabbit with long ears that would grab stuff. And at some point in time, they decided they wanted to have him roll up in a ball to do those um, gravity-defying stunts. And they figured that a rabbit may not be the best um, animal choice for that, so they went with a hedgehog. So Sonic is not a bunny. No. Not anymore. <laughs> yeah, and then what's really interesting is that original prototype idea for a bunny with long ears that would grab stuff then morphed into a star with sneakers with really long arms that grabbed stuff. Oh, yeah. I remember those days. Man, Sega had a hell of a time picking a mascot, didn't they? <laughs> well, yeah, they, first they started with the elf monkey boy. Oh, yeah, I remember that. That went over real well. And I can't remember, did they try anything else? Cause did um, no, I think when they got to Sonic, they pretty much said, yeah, this is it. Well, yeah, because they, they really needed a mascot, and the monkey boy just wasn't doing it. This was the only one they did a cartoon on, too, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I was watching the Sonic the Hedgehog, the, the cartoon, the other day. Yeah, I don't know if I could watch that. I tried watching, um... Though I suppose it's probably better than that abomination that is Sonic X. Go watch the original The Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. It's instant on Netflix. Believe me, it's awesome. It's, it's pretty good. I remember watching like one or two episodes a, a while back when they had them on DVD. Um, when recently I I also had Sonic X, but then recently I tried watching Sonic Underground. Um, that was pretty bad. Yeah. And of course Sonic X. <laughs> well, it's anime. Yeah. Well, what more do you need to say? Hey, now listen here. Not all anime is bad. Not all anime is good. <laughs> oh, fair enough. Well, when I, you know, are they still on Namek kind of things? You know, there's, there's always bad ones, but... The, uh... It would have been interesting if they had kept, you know, what they would do today with this. They're not really making new games. That's, that's what's getting me. They're not really making new Sonic games. Well, we'll see. They made Sonic Four. Well, yeah, they have been making new Sonic games. It just doesn't seem like it. <laughs> no. The the well, we had Sonic Four, which felt like a new Sonic game until you actually played it. And then you realize they just rehashed everything. And gave them um, iron shoes to run with. Something like that. What the what the hell is with that? Do, do they not? Did they forget how to program a physics engine? Is that how it works? I don't know. And they oh, said back it. Then those games didn't have physics engines. That's, That's what I mean, though. They programmed for physics really well in you know all the original games, and then they just totally screwed it up after that. Yeah. Well, but then, but then now we have Sonic Generations, which. Um, I would Which say... Which I still haven't purchased, but I've, I've creamed my pants over multiple times. If you play the first half of that, um, you will think you have died, to go died and gone to Hedgehog Heaven. Um, Please after... don't ruin it for me. <laughs> after the first half, however, um, you may think you're in purgatory. <laughs> oh man, really? Yeah, kinda. I mean... Okay, well, it's not quite the abomination that, like, Sonic Adventure or Shadow the Hedgehog or some of those other 
or Sonic 2006. Ugh. It's it is nowhere near that bad, but it is certainly not up to par with the for first half of the game. So Sonic Generations is basically Sonic, the majority of Sonic's history condensed into one game, good and bad. So. Now that we've stunned everyone into silence. <laughs> You've broken watching. my heart. Just watching you play, man. I know, Sonic's kind of a heartbreaker. Well, there are bad Mario games, in my opinion, so don't worry about that. Well, yeah, that's true. We played one. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we did. The original Game Boy was... <laughs> Super, Super Mario, Mario Land. Land. Man, that was bad. Yeah, you know, I was talking to my, I was talking to my roommate about that the other night, because we were talking about Mario Princesses. And she said, there's Toadstool, Peach, and Daisy. I said, no, no. I said, Daisy was in one game. She's like, she was in Mario Party. I'm like, no, no, no. First of all, Mario Party doesn't count for anything, ever. That's true. <laughs> I said, second of all, Daisy only showed up in Super Mario Land, the original Super Mario Land. And the second yeah. one. Didn't she? I, th I thought for sure she was in the second one as well. She was like a recurring I don't think so. Character. All I remember is Wario. Well, yeah, Wario made a big splash in, in Super Mario Land, and then he sort of took the series over. Yeah, but I mean, I, I told her, I said, yeah, I said, we don't, we don't count Daisy. <laughs> She's that other princess. She is the other princess. Well, technically so is Peach. <laughs> Peach is the replacement princess. I mean, what the hell is that all about? They were on a break. <laughs> on a break, my they've been on a break for the last 15 years. I want my Princess Toadstool back. Well, see, if you remember canon, according to Super Mario 64, Peach is Princess Toadstool's nickname. That's her um, pet name, if you will. Yeah, well, explain the hair to me then. She died. <laughs> Uh, blondes are all the rage now. You know, right? You have to give the writer a little credit for this stuff. Stop. Oh, I can continuity. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> continuity, my ass. <laughs> God. Yeah. Yeah. I'm such an angry young man, but at least I get angry about important things. You know, like Mario Cannon. Yeah, I mean. If that's not important, what is? Hey, when your princess is in another castle. <laughs> you know, you gotta, you gotta. It's like which damn princess is in the castle? Seriously. Oh man. Ooh, that was a good, good landing. I've played this game too much. I'm getting so fast at it. I'm screwing up. I have to say I'm doing pretty good at playing the joystick. Okay. Hey, hey, look, I got a big bomb bag. Okay. We're gonna... Oh, that was a bad idea. And now I lost my rings. Have I mentioned that I love Goron City? I think so. Oh, another thing. Skyward Sword, as far as I can tell, has only one Goron. Well, this is that's just crap. And no chickens, and no great fairies, and no tingle. Why the hell does everybody love this game so much, then? It's a good game, it's just... I don't know. There's it's not the game it could have been. It's just some. There's something about it. It's just. Why did awesome. you die, by the way? <laughs> I don't know. Because I'm anxious to get on to the next game. Well, that's fair. I can understand that. 
the uh, Skyward Sword, I wonder if it's because uh, it's been a long time since anybody played a Zelda game. Yeah, see, I never played Twilight Princess. Okay, and for our second game, the one that I have played to death, despite having never finished it properly. <laughs> Do I have to disown you? Okay, I, I will say this. I have played every single level in the game, but not in order. Okay. So, take it at that. <laughs> but... Yes, I have I have played this game to absolute death. So you have beaten it. Kinda. Just not in the intended order. No, and not in the intended fashion either. Go on, I'm listening. <laughs> because it turned out these games didn't have saves back in the day. Right. And my parents wouldn't just let me leave the Genesis on all night. Oh, see, yeah, I used to do that all the time. So I found these things called cheat codes. Oh, you That bastard. would unlock little level select things as well as debug modes. And I had a game genie and... See, back in my day, we didn't need a game genie. We knew how to we knew how to bust into our uh, our copies of Sonic. So th this was this was back when I was before I got really good at platformers. So I could well, and especially that final boss on this thing, you have to defeat two massive bosses with no rings. I know, I know. I mean, seriously. Oh yeah, early Sonic games were no picnic. So yeah, I think I I think I beat him a couple times with a code that made me Super Sonic, with like as many rings as I wanted. Um, I did actually try to beat him for real. You know, I would level warp to the final boss and try to beat him. And if I couldn't do that, I'd give myself a few rings and try and beat him again. Um, so I tried. have to do that with. Especially when there's no save games. Yeah. <laughs> you know what's sad? I remember the cheat code sequence from, uh... From, uh... From Sonic 2. See, it's I been... Know. I don't remember what it was. I had it... I had it at one point memorized. What you do is... So you go to you the go sound to, test. You, you and, go into the options. Yeah. Um, on the main screen. Okay. You go to the sound test, right? You go to the sound test, and then you play, and you don't have to complete them, you just have to, to start them you have, playing yeah, in this You have order. to enter each song or sound in a certain order. You play order. 19, 65, 9, and 17, and then it should make a, uh, a ring sound. Yeah, you. yeah, see, now I'm remembering it. And then you go back to the main menu, and you hold B and press start. And uh, or hold A and press start, I'm sorry. Then it takes you to the, that's the, the stage select. And from the stage select, what you can do is you do 4, 1, 2, 6, and that should give you all seven Chaos Emeralds. And then you do 1, 9, 9, 2, 1, yeah, 1, yeah. 2, and 4, then you get which debug. was the release date. And that gives you the and debug that mode. And that gives you um, the construction mode. Yeah. This was obviously just randomly found. I don't know whether it was randomly found, or I don't know if one of the programmers leaked it out a long time ago. Because <laughs> that was a because the the programmers. I mean, we're they smart enough fun. to build in those sort of things. Yeah, they, they, they had their little jokes. Oh yeah. I remember the codes for Donkey Kong Country 3, so... <gasps> oh... Hey, yeah, actually. I have to say, I love this song for Chemical Plant.
I like what they did with it in Sonic Generations. Oh yeah, man, that level is awesome. That is a cool little mix, awesome. isn't it? Awesome, yes. As, I mean, sort of the classic Sonic one is cool, because you know it's classic 2D Sonic, but I personally think the 3D Sonic version of Chemical Plant is awesome. That is like, they fully realize this level in total mind-bending, loop-de-loop, um, three-dimensional glory. Yeah, let's do a special stage. And my favorite special stages of all time. See, I got a, I got a thing for the ones from Three and Knuckles. Those made me dizzy. Oh, see, I like those. But I'm not easily dizzied. Yeah, I, I get dizzy easy. And the ones in the Sonic 1 were kind of, I don't know, hard to control. But these are my favorite. And you could have a second, like in the whole game, you can have a second person drop in as Tails and help you out. Mm-hmm. But yeah, you have to be careful because when one person jumps, or when you jump, it switches places. So if the sec if the player two jumps, that puts you behind and them in front. And then if they jump again, it's basically they're just leapfrogging over each other. So you have to be careful you don't accidentally put someone in the path of a bomb. Of course, if you're doing the two-player mode on this, you want to do that. <laughs> well, in the main game, it technically, yes, is cooperative, but this also has the two-player mode where you can oh, compete yes. against each other. Uh, I, I played that quite a bit. Yeah, mine neither. Ah. I hated this pig stuff. The, 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 the second act in this level, toward the end of it, would always freak me out. Because it's... Yeah. When you're in the pink stuff, you're trying to climb up the, those platforms and you get that countdown going and... <laughs> the, that, that countdown has actually been called the scariest song or music in video game history. You know, it's, it's, it's impending doom. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on! Oh, 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 Get up there! Get up there! Bring it! Ugh. Okay. I'm good. Okay. Okay, now I might gotta... Yeah, and then I would fall back down and have to go through it all over. Okay, wait, there's... Trap platforms here. Okay, good. Oh yeah, this one is so much faster than the first one. Plus you have that spin dash, which is like invaluable. Yeah. You can actually charge it up. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, there we go. The first couple bosses in this game are kind of pushovers. That's using your chicken, I think. Oh, and I love his little idle animations. Oh, aren't they great? Ooh, just... I just got a, I just got a whole nother uh, heart container. Aquatic Ruin. Is anybody keeping track of the time? How long have we gone? I, I honestly don't know. 
there are frogs in the water, so I'm kind of paying attention to them. So this Sonic game was probably the biggest evolutionary leap from Sonic 1, or for a Sonic game. Yeah. Although Sonic CD really pushed the envelope, man. In several ways, yes. It did, and I gotta say, they did a really good job with it. Uh-huh. Which... Is probably a good segue into our final game. But I know how you are about time travel. Yeah. But come on, can't Sonic CD be one of those rare exceptions? Oh, it is. Sonic CD is probably, all things considered, my all-time favorite Sonic game. Really? Yes, it's it's a That's close... That's a hell of an endorsement. It's a close tie with Sonic 2, um, but Sonic 2 kind of has a lot of nostalgic um, sheen to it. But from a gameplay perspective, Sonic CD is awesome. Which this is also the one that I actually never, I never had a Sega CD. I didn't either. As much as I wanted one, I had to settle for the PC version. Oh, come on, there we go. You know, I gotta say, though, um, it, didn't, it didn't all go downhill after Knuckles. Um, I had Sonic 3D Blast, and I was actually pretty happy with it. Yeah, it wasn't a bad game. It was hard. It was. But it wasn't terrible. It was hard as balls. Now, see, this... That this is where where it gets an exception for time travel, is you get to change the freaking level. I mean, how many how many games let you play play the game as in one way, go hit a signpost, run really fast, and all of a sudden, whoosh, you're in a totally different version. That's true. Ooh, I mean, man, the soundtrack in this is also awesome. This is like my favorite Sonic soundtrack, or one of them. Oh, and I can say that all Sonic CD is also the first Sonic game that I played through to completion. From beginning to end. Wow. Yes. I did not get all the Chaos Emeralds, or whatever they were called in this one. But that's because the special stages in this one are kind of stupid. Aren't the special stages in this one, like, they're races against Metal Sonic, are they not? No, that is act that's a boss level. Yep. Is that a boss? Okay. Yeah, the special stages in this are really bizarre 3D kind of... Um, racing destruction derby things you have to run around and destroy little um floating ufo things the the, the perspective is really weird and it's kind of it's actually kind of slow <laughs> it's not you don't get to go very fast and it's kind of awkward oh come on ah oh, i missed it Yeah, it's kind of cool how you can go back and forth through time and alter the level, depending on how well you did. Yeah. Though some of the, I think some of the time travel is scripted, because this the zone the act three of this is always in the future. And I don't think you can go back to the past. Yeah. Oh, and also another reason I love this game is this. What in the world is that? 
You didn't know about this? No, I never I never really played much of Sonic CD. Okay, you know, you hold down and you do the thingy and then you, and you do the spin dash, right? Right. Okay. Well, in Sonic CD, if you hold up and do that, he does this. Like a running in place thing? Yeah, he just sits there spinning his legs in a little figure eight, which is totally awesome. That's and badass. I want one of those. I want to do that. Also, Robotnik looks pretty badass in this game, too. Oh, yeah, and he has that evil, menacing laugh. Aha. 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 Eh, it wasn't much. This also introduced the badass rival of Sonic, Metal Sonic. Oh my god. He... Wow. That, that's probably um, Robotnik's only good invention was Metal Sonic. But then we also got this. Oh, yeah, see about that. Yeah. That's... <laughs> if this game has one flaw, um, this is it. Amy is it. So, yeah. Fortunately... Like say, womp womp. Fortunately, you don't get to see her for long. So, yeah. Yeah, you, you have fun with her, Metal Sonic. <laughs> Let Metal Sonic know there is a uh, there's a restocking fee. <laughs> yes, yeah, so if, if you don't like her, um, we can't accept refunds. What was the future of this one? The future looks so dismal, I love it. I know, because it's like you travel, in the, it's sort of like the Ocarina of Time th sort of thing, where you go into the future where evil like, is taken over. And everything is just, everything's horrid. Yeah, and evil is taken over, everything's all bleak and dreary and... Skynetish. Sky Skynetish. Yeah. I like that. That's, I'm using that word later. Skynetish. Yeah, and, and, I, and I love this. Look at the baddies. They're all like broken down and holes in them, and it's like they've been active for so long. Like it's it's everything is dystopian. Even Robotnik's own shit is dystopian. Yeah, I love it. And the music is a little more rockier and kind of death metal ish. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely a little more ominous. It's like the whole, all the whole world is just gone to pieces. But see, if I do, if I finish the stage, what? Because you you got rated on how well you did. I'll say like Sonic made a good future or something like that. I'm trying to remember how they did it. What? I'm in the future right now. I was gonna say the the level design in Sonic CD was is really incredible too. Mm. There's there even seems to be more secret areas than there were. Really? Yeah, I've <clears throat> I've noticed there's a lot of like totally hidden paths or little coves than there were. In some of the previous ones, see they did really good. I think I think the best game they did a lot of that in with is uh, Sonic and Knuckles. The hidden areas. You in see that. a lot of that in the beginning in Mushroom Hill. There's a lot of multiple hidden pathways in Mushroom Hill. Yeah, yeah. Um, especially when you're getting near the end, and it's I mean it's really really cool the way that they set it up. 
Yeah, this is when you the, the the secret areas in this are a little more in style with um, the original Sonic the Hedgehog, where they're just like these invisible walls or doorways yeah. that just kind of you fall through by accident. Not quite as obvious. Man, I love that run. That's awesome. Do it again. Oh yeah, and this was the first Sonic game to have a full motion video animated cutscene in the in the beginning. Oh yeah, that's right, that's right. That like, totally like, awesome. Toei Animation worked on that, did they not? Who? Toei? Um, I don't know exactly. What? You're cutting out really bad. I love this. I'm just going through and doing the Happy Mask Shop uh, side quests. Oh, that creep. Oh my god. I can't even play, I can't even play Majora's Mask. <laughs> I've never played Majora's Mask. I can't do it. Just be glad you don't have the... The haunted cartridge? <laughs> yes, the Ben copy. Yeah, I, I thought Redeads were creepy. And then I saw Ben. Yeah, I, I want to know how that guy pulled it off, though. There, there's videos of how of supposed proof of how he did it. Like it was some something to do with like a, some kind of debug mode uh -huh. that he was able to hack into, and that that's how we got all that footage. Mm hmm But it is still plain creepy. It is creepy. I mean, I gotta say, even for it being fake, he did a really good job with it. Oh yeah. And the story writing that he did behind it was good, too. Yeah. He, and that song. And that oh, face. Oh, yeah. Oh. See, re remember the um, casino boss from Sonic 2? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have to do, you have to do the bouncy thing with, within the little flippers and stuff in the casino? Yeah. Um, take that and multiply it. So this has the, this had some very creative bosses. Wow! It's like that, you had to do the whole casino thing with the flippers and the pinballs, and you had to climb your way up the table to actually get to Robotnik, and then you hit him twice, and he's gone. T oh, Tidal Tempest. See, they, they they did in this one, they did rip off a lot of stuff from Sonic 1. Mm -hmm. But they did it in kind of a cool way. Because, like, the, these, are, these are all art assets from Sonic 1, um, the Labyrinth Zone. But it's cool. Well, there's some continuity to it. Yeah, and then you have the, this cool music. Hey, you guys, do you remember... Joshua, do you remember who gets the bunny ear mask from from Creepy Mask Guy? The um, Hyrulean Runner. Is it him? That's what I thought. Yep, it makes him run fast, which is kind of an interesting future nod to the bunny hood in Majora's Mask, which makes you run fast. Really? Yeah. He, he says, you know, with this bunny hood, I, I can run really fast, even faster, and then he, like, takes off like a terror... Now, how do I get him to stop? I forget how to make him stop. <laughs> you keep rolling. Oh, and then eventually he'll pause? I think so. I think so. I don't I think remember I see exactly. his polygons in the distance. Yeah, that's him. It's just been so long since I've done that. I figured he was the one that got the bunny ears, but... Yeah. Ah, that sounds... I love this song. The Amazing Running Man of Hyrule. Actually, there was a guy in my hometown that, that I nicknamed that. There was this guy that would run up and down one of the main streets in my hometown all the time. Every single day, you'd see this guy out there just sweating and running. and So I huh. called him the, the, the Amazing Running Man of Altama Avenue. <laughs> The 
the music in this game is so incredible. Ah, special. Okay, <laughs> here is the infamous special stages from Sonic CD that I think are probably the worst ones that they've ever done. Oh, that's right. He, that's right. I forgot. Once you sell him the mask, he gives you so much money, like it refills your entire stock. Okay, here's a special stage from Sonic CD. What? What is this? <laughs> yes, this, <laughs> this is how you get Chaos Emeralds. You have to destroy all these UFOs. I have five left. Oh, this is ridiculous. Yeah. And you're under a time limit. Oh, come on, turn, you This looks like some Mario Kart crap, but, like, yeah. really bad. Yeah, it does. It's, it's like Mario Kart battle mode, only worse. But with, like, F-Zero graphics. Uh. Oh, what? How did my, how did my time go down? What did I do? Ah. <sighs> so yeah, fortunately, I had the um, the computer, the, the PC copy of this game, because there's mm -hmm. a this act, this game actually has a good ending and a bad ending depending on whether or not you get all the emeralds. Yeah. Well, with the PC copy, I just went into the file structure of the game and found the WMV of the good ending and watched that. No, it was They did it as a WMV? I think so. <laughs> oh, it makes me so proud. It, it was some very generic universal file format. I'm pretty sure it was a WMV. If not, it was AVI. Come on, bubble, 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 bubble. Come on, bubble, bubble, bubble. No, no, no. Ah. There you go. No countdown music. Odd. See, this is weird. That you're going through the walls. This, I think, also has possibly the most the most number of stages of uh, possibly rivaling Sonic 2. There are a ridiculous number of levels in this game. Well, you know the story behind Sonic CD, right? No, I don't think I do. Um, Sonic CD and Sonic 2 were developed by separate teams. Hmm because one of the guys that was in charge of Sonic 1 didn't like the way things were going over in Japan, so he came to Sega of America, and then Sonic 2 got developed here, and I think Sega CD, or Sonic CD got developed over there. So that's why this looks so much like Sonic 1. Right, this, is, this is technically the successor to Sonic 1. That but makes sense. we, yeah. Yeah, because the, all the art assets and everything is, like, totally from Sonic it 1. Looks, it looks so much like Sonic 1, right. But then Sonic 2, it, things look different, and then Sonic 3, it looks even different. It's like, this This is a weird missing link in the progression between um, Sonic 2 and Sonic 3. I want, to, I want to see the future version of this level, please. It's hard to think with water levels. It's hard to go fast. Ah. Uh. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Wait, what? Okay. That's a weird countdown. That is not the super freaky, terrifying countdown. Oh, barely missed getting squished. 
Let's see. Okay, so I have... I did all the, the Happy Mask stuff. So I have the Mask of Truth now. Which only which lets you talk to the, the stones. Yeah, I know. It's kind of dumb. Ah, uh, sure. I didn't get to see the future. So yeah, we've probably gone well over an hour. Um, oh, this is the future of this one. It's Robotnik Ruins. Look, he's got totems of his little egg flying things. Yeah, I'd have to say this is my favorite Sonic game. And it has the classic um, jumping sound. A little wop, wop. Oh, right, you have to chase them just like in the labyrinth. You have to chase them and then you have to actually fight them. Yeah, at least in this one, you don't have to chase him upward. Yeah, that, that's, that's Good hard. God, that's such a pain in the ass. Underwater? How many lives have you lost doing that? A lot. Nah, I can't go under there. Where'd he go? So, yeah, this has been... Wait, I'm going around in circles. I'm missing a switch somewhere. Ooh, there, I got him. Okay, he's running. He's on the run. Come on, you. Ah, oh, not in the pink stuff. Oh, the bubble one. Sonic 4 completely ripped off this boss. He's even oh. got the evil laugh. Ah, oh, no. Womp womp. Well, <laughs> that was Sonic 1, 2, and CD. Um, available on pretty much all major platforms. So, go buy them now. And if you want to watch more of these episodes, you can find those at RetroGamesForever.com or now at Retroist.com. I'm writing a lot more for the for the Retroist. So, and I created a podcast feed for a random retro bonus round. So you can find that in iTunes as well as this. Um. Anything anyone else want to plug before we sign off? Nah, I, you know, this time I got nothing. All right, well, then we will see you next week in the past. Or in the future, depending if we're playing Sonic CD again. Yeah, it could be in the future. We will see you in the future in the past. I'm out of here! Thank <laughs> you.